In the Roman Catholic Church, the term «congregation» is used not only in the senses that it has in other contexts to indicate, for instance, a gathering for worship or some other purpose, but also to mean specifically either a type of department of the Roman Curia, or a type of religious institute, or certain organized groups of Augustinian, Benedictine, and Cistercian houses. <laughs> department of the Roman Curia The term Congregation is used for the highest ranking departments of the Roman Curia. Lower ranking departments include pontifical councils, pontifical commissions, tribunals, and offices. In origin, the congregations were selected groups of cardinals, not the whole College of Cardinals, commissioned to take care of some field of activity that concerned the Holy See. Today, as a result of a decision of the Second Vatican Council, the membership includes diocesan bishops from diverse parts of the world who are not cardinals. Each congregation also has a permanent staff to assist it in dealing with the business that comes before it. Topic: <inaudible> Type of religious institute. Topic: The term congregation is used for a type of religious institute. The other major type is the order. Until the 16th century, the vows taken in any of the religious institutes approved by the Apostolic See were classified as solemn. This was declared by Pope Boniface VIII According to this criterion, the last religious order founded was that of the Bethlehem Brothers in 1673. By the Constitution Inter Cetera of the 20th of January 1521, Pope Leo X appointed a rule for tertiaries with simple vows. Under this rule, enclosure was optional, enabling non-enclosed followers of the rule to engage in various works of charity not allowed to enclosed religious. In 1566 and 1568, Pope Pius V rejected this class of institute, but they continued to exist and even increased in number. After at first being merely tolerated, they afterwards obtained approval. Their lives were oriented not to the ancient monastic way of life, but more to social service and to evangelization, both in Europe and in mission areas. Their number increased further in the upheavals brought by the French Revolution and subsequent Napoleonic invasions of other Catholic countries, depriving thousands of monks and nuns of the income that their communities held because of inheritances and forcing them to find a new way of living their religious life. Only on almost the last day of the 19th century were they officially reckoned as religious, when Pope Leo XIII recognized as religious all men and women who took simple vows in such congregations. The 1917 Code of Canon Law reserved the name, religious order, for institutes in which the vows were solemn, and used the term, religious congregation, or simply, congregation, for those with simple vows. The members of a religious order for men were called, regulars. Those belonging to a religious congregation were simply «religious», a term that applied also to regulars. For women, those with simple vows were simply «sisters», with the term «nun» reserved in canon law for those who belonged to an institute of solemn vows, even if in some localities they were allowed to take simple vows instead, however, it abolished the distinction according to which solemn vows, unlike simple vows, were indissoluble. It recognized no totally indispensable religious vows and thereby abrogated spiritually, though not altogether juridically, Latin Rite religious orders. Solemn vows were originally considered indissoluble. Not even the Pope could dispense from them. If for a just cause a solemnly professed religious was expelled, the vow of chastity remained unchanged and so rendered invalid any attempt at marriage, the vow of obedience obliged in relation, generally, to the bishop rather than to the religious superior, and the vow of poverty was modified to meet the new situation, but the expelled religious could not, for example, will any goods to another, and goods which came to him reverted at his death to his institute or to the Holy See. After publication of the 1917 Code, many institutes with simple vows appealed to the Holy See for permission to make solemn vows. The Apostolic Constitution Sponsa Christi of 21 November 1950 made access to that permission easier for nuns in the strict sense, though not for religious institutes dedicated to apostolic activity. Many of these institutes of women then petitioned for the solemn vow of poverty alone. 
Towards the end of the Second Vatican Council, superiors general of clerical institutes and abbots president of monastic congregations were authorized to permit, for a just cause, their subjects of simple vows who made a reasonable request to renounce their property except for what would be required for their sustenance if they were to depart, thus assimilating their position to that of religious with solemn vows. These changes resulted in a blurring of the previously clear distinction between «orders» and «congregations» since institutes that were founded as «congregations» began to have some members who had all three solemn vows or had members that took a solemn vow of poverty and simple vows of chastity and obedience. The current Code of Canon Law, which came into force in 1983, maintains the distinction between solemn and simple vows, but no longer makes any distinction between their juridical effects, including the distinction between «orders» and «congregations». It has accordingly dropped the language of the 1917 Code and uses the single term, "...religious institute", which appears nowhere in the 1917 Code to designate all such institutes of consecrated life alike. In the current Code of Canon Law, the word, "...congregation", is never used of a class of religious institutes, but only of the congregations of the Roman Curia or of monastic congregations. In the English translation of the Canon Law Society of America, the word, "...congregation", is used also in Canon 767 sections 2–3 of the People at Mass, where the Latin text has «populi concursus», not «congregatio». The Annuario Pontificio lists for both men and women the institutes of consecrated life and the like that are «of pontifical right», those that the Holy See has erected or approved by formal decree. For the men, it gives what it calls the historical juridical list of precedents. In this list it maintains to a large extent the historical distinction between «orders» and «congregations», giving information on 96 «clerical religious congregations» and 34 «lay religious congregations», but it does not distinguish, even for men, between «orders» and «congregations» of Eastern Catholic Churches, nor does it distinguish between these two pre-1983 classes when listing the pontifical right religious institutes of women. These are much more numerous than those for men. The Annuario Pontificio devotes 216 pages to listing them, with six or seven of them mostly seven on each page. <laughs> Group of Augustinian, Benedictine or Cistercian houses The term, "'congregation' is used for a group of monasteries or for a group of chapters of canons regular. Each congregation is presided over by a superior with a title such as Abbot General, Arch Abbot, Abbot President, President, Abbot Ordinary, Provost General or Superior General. The generic term for such a superior is, "'Abbot Primate". Canons regular. The Annuario Pontificio lists the following as the congregations of the Canons Regular of St. Augustine, whose abbot primate lives in Rome Canons Regular of the Congregation of the Most Holy Saviour of the Lateran Abbot General in Rome Canons Regular of the Austrian Lateran Congregation 1907 Abbot General in Klosterneuburg, Austria Canons Regular of the Hospitallary Congregation of Great St. Bernard 11th century, Provost General in Martigny, Switzerland Canons Regular of the Swiss Congregation of St. Maurice of Agon 1128 Abbot Ordinary in St. Maurice, Switzerland Canons Regular of St. Augustine of the Congregation of Windesheim 1386 Provost General in Pering, Germany Canons Regular of the Congregation of Saint Victor 1968 Abbot General in Champagne sur Rhone, France. Canons Regular of the Immaculate Conception 1866 Superior General in Rome. Canons Regular of the Congregation of the Brothers of Common Life 14th century Superior General in Weilheim, Germany. Topic: <laughs> Benedictines. The Annuario Pontificio lists the following congregations of the Benedictine Confederation, whose abbot primate lives in Rome English Benedictine Congregation 1336 Abbot President in Radstock, England Hungarian Congregation 1514 Archabot in Pannonhalma, Hungary 
Swiss Congregation 1602 Abbot President in Bolzano, Italy Austrian Congregation 1625 Abbot President in Stift Gottweig, Austria Bavarian Congregation 1684 Abbot President in Kloster Schaftlern, Germany Brazilian Congregation 1827 Abbot President in Salvador, Brazil Solzmas Congregation 1837 Abbot President in Sable sur sarthe France American Cassanese Congregation 1855 Abbot President in Collegeville, United States Subiaco Cassanese Congregation 1867 Abbot President in Rome Buranese Congregation 1873 Abbot President in Maria Lock, Germany Swiss American Congregation 1881 Abbot President in St. Meinrad, Indiana, United States Ottilian Congregation 1884 Archabot President in St. Ottilian Archabbey, Germany Congregation of the Annunciation 1920 Abbot President in Trier, Germany Slav Congregation 1945 Prior Administrator in Prague, Czech Republic Cano Sur Congregation 1976 Abbot President in Los Toldos, Argentina Topic Previously independent monastic orders which have joined the Benedictine Confederation Topic Camaldoli's Congregation 980 Prior General in Camaldoli, Italy Vallombrosian Congregation 1036 Abbot General in Florence, Italy Silvestrine Congregation 1231 Abbot General in Rome Oliveton Congregation 1319 Abbot General in Ostiano, Italy Topic Cistercians Topic the Annuario Pontificio lists the following congregations of Cistercians, whose abbot general lives in Rome: Castilian Cistercian Congregation, 1425 abbot general acts as pro president; Cistercian Congregation of Saint Bernard in Italy, 1497 abbot president in San Severino Marche, Italy; Cistercian Congregation of the Crown of Aragon, 1616 abbot president in Poblet, Spain. Mararau Cistercian Congregation 1624 Abbot President in Bregenz, Austria Austrian Cistercian Congregation 1859 Abbot President in Heiligenkreuz, Austria Cistercian Congregation of the Immaculate Conception 1867 Abbot President in Ile saint honoret France ZIRC Cistercian Congregation 1923 Abbot President in ZIRC, Hungary Casamari Cistercian Congregation 1929 Abbot President in Casamari, Italy. Cistercian Congregation of Mary Queen of the World 1953 Abbot President in Krakow, Poland. Brazilian Cistercian Congregation 1961 Abbot President in Itaporanga, Brazil. Cistercian Congregation of the Holy Family 1964 Abbot President in Tan Phu Ho Chi Minh, Vietnam. See also Consecrated Life Catholic Church Institute of Consecrated Life Catholic Religious Order Secular Institute Society of Apostolic Life Parish Catholic Church References Topic. <laughs>